Hey, After Buzzers. Kevin Undergaro, the executive producer of After Buzz, along with Maria Menunos. Hi, everybody. And Maria and I, as you know, have put so much time and money into mm-hmm. the After Buzz TV product and really haven't seen a lot in return. Nope, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the ways you guys can actually help us is by tuning into our new reality show, Chasing Maria Menunos. It premieres Tuesday, March 18th, 10 o'clock, 9 p.m. Central, and features me and Maria basically bickering, fighting. No. No. No, it's not just bickering and fighting. You get an inside look into my life, behind the scenes. You'll also get a behind the scenes look at AfterBuzz and an inside look at how Maria does everything in her power to shut us down because she's very cheap. That is so rude. Why would you say that? Because it's true. Oh, my God. Well, anyway, guys, please tune in to Chasing Maria Menounos on Oxygen, Tuesday, March 18th at 10 p.m. We really do appreciate it. All of your support will help AfterBuzz because Maria certainly won't. (laughs) So rude. You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. The After Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Bad Girls Club After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Bad Girls Club After hey, Show. Well, I want it, I get it. Yeah, that's right. Come on, Timmy. Shake that ding leg. Hey! <laughs> oh, yeah, he's everything. Yo, what up, After Buzz? It's your boy DJ Jesse Janity here in studio for the Bad Girls All Star Battle Season 2 with my home girl, Julie Ofcharski. What's up, guys? And special guest Timmy is back. You guys Timmy loved him so love. much, we invited him back. He's everything. <laughs> Well, we've got the Battle Dome episode tonight. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> More like Wampa. Right. Oh. Um, I'm, I'm low key over the season. Um, low key. I mean, I'm uh, all the fucking way yeah. over the season. It's so boring. Like, I think we talked about this last time. The entire season, I've just been waiting for something to happen where I'm like, fuck yeah. And it hasn't happened, and the season finale is next week. So this season was a complete waste of my life and time. But it was interesting you you mentioned that the season was kind of a lot about Shelly. Yes, I was saying that today. Shelly is one of those people that when she got cast, everybody was like, right. who fucking cares? Like, why is she here? And now looking back in retrospect, so much of this season has been about her. And a lot of the girls that you would have thought that – yeah. This season would have been a lot about them n- are completely irrelevant. Like Sarah, <laughs> Tiana. Well, it's funny because, you know. Irrelevant. Sarah going into it as such a fan favorite. She did nothing. It, it, she literally did nothing the whole show. Tiana, I mean, until last damn episode, oh. biopic <laughs> of her life. You all right over there? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's, sorry, Timmy. <laughs> We got a biopic of Tiana's damn life last week. So yes. that was cool. Yeah. Um, so Ray J wakes the girls up this morning uh, with a megaphone telling them all to go outside. I would love to do that. <laughs> just come wake y'all bitches up. Just Seriously? Over. That's like my definition of a nightmare. Like I have PTSD from All Star Battle and a nightmare would be fucking Ray J waking me up in the morning with a fucking megaphone. How do you feel about the season two? What was it? Season two is Tiana. Was Tanisha season two? She was season two, right? Or what three? about her? Tanisha? I have no idea. Well, her, what about her seasons? Y'all not can't get no oh, sleep Oh, yeah, anymore. that was For epic. the rest of their lives, they probably have that shit stuck in their For head. For real, though. <laughs> like, they probably just have nightmares. Like in Winnie the Pooh with the heffalumps <laughs> and noodles dancing around. It's just, just Tanisha yeah, dancing Tanisha. around with fucking pots and pans. <laughs> so scary. Scary, looking like Mama Morton. Uh, <laughs> we have a call on the line. Call, what's your name? Where are you from? Hello. Hello, is this is Corey? Is this Corey Iverson? Corey, are you hanging around the projects again? Corey? Um, well, we'll try to get him back. All right. So, Ray J asks all the girls, basically, what do you want this money for, right? Yes. Sarah says, um, 
I want to win because I want my little sisters to come live with me and my father. And she got teary-eyed when she said that. All right. And Shelly said she wants to go back to school and spend time with her grandma because her grandma's getting old and it would just be nice for her to You can't just spend time spend time with her grandma. With your grandmother. <laughs> when you don't have regardless. money. Regardless, you can't right. just like go to fucking hometown buffet together like I don't understand. <laughs> I need $100,000. <laughs> you need 100 Gs. All right, Corey, we have you on the line. Corey. Hello. Bitch, I swear to God. What? Corey, can you hear us? Is he on a train or something? He's on a boat. He texted me and he said, I got the call, but it was silent. Mm, no, boo. You're being silent. Well, if you guys want to call in, you guys can call us at 424-256-1729. It's the original number. 424-256-1729. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name's Eric. What up, Eric? Is this After Bus TV with Julia Charsky? No, this is um, Big Wings Chinese Restaurant. How what would you, you like to order? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, where's Julie? Hi, okay, baby. <laughs> oh, hi, Julie. Hi. Oh my gosh, you guys almost got me. I swear to God. You really thought that was a Chinese restaurant? <laughs> oh, you're a special snowflake. That's How are you? Cute. What's up? I'm doing good. Okay, so I just literally walked out of fucking class so I can call in just to speak to Julie. Oh, um, you're precious. Oh, thank you, Julie. What Anyways, class was um, it? I didn't really watch the episode because I was in class, obviously. Well, what class were you in? I, I'm in psychology right now. Really? Well, actually, I walked out. And, that girls uh, club is like the same as watching yeah. psych as being in psychology class. You just get to watch a bunch of girls with borderline personality disorder compete. For tell, tell us about someone that you hate in class. Uh, no, we're gonna talk about the show. Let's talk about the show. All right. Well, you saw the episode, right? Obviously, you didn't. So, what the hell well, you want to talk no, about? No, I didn't. <laughs> what the but fuck you want to no talk about? Talk talking about it since the star of the show has left like two episodes ago. Oh, so why'd you come? Who? In? Who's the star yeah, of the show? Who's your star? The star of the show was clearly Elise. Oh. Yeah, Elise. Well, oh, I don't was know the about the star. star. Of the show. <laughs> we like Elise, but the star. I don't know about that. Mm. I think it, that I don't think that there's any one person this season who's like the star of the season, like a standout. I would say Rocky. But Megan. Rocky's boring now. But Rocky. Okay, it's a lot of it is about Rocky. A lot of it is about f is about fucking Shelly. Um, fucking. I okay. don't know how the fuck that happened. And Megan. <laughs> yes. Okay. No. I think Megan has plotted herself to be very relevant in the game. She's keeping up with it. But I feel like the star of the show, who Oxygen and who Bad Girls Club All Star is building up to be the star, would be Rocky. I mean, it's just like Rocky, the champion. Like no, that's it's just like true. this gladiator. Like okay. Okay, we get, and I think it's turned on for us as viewers. It's kind of made us not like Rocky. I know. I'm sad. I'm sad. I feel like they're giving her a terrible edit, and it's making me sad. But it's like a really nice edit that that she's just makes like you running sick the game. Of her. Yeah, that's true. Oh, all right. Well, 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 my favorites were Rocky and Megan at first, but Rocky became how would I say this? Over, I don't know. There's too, uh, yeah. There's too much yeah, of her. There's too much of her. Like, she's, like, yeah, too in your face. It's like, Rocky, 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 Rocky. And I feel like everybody's just like, oh, my God, get the fuck out of here. Right. Like, no one cares. Right. I think right. everyone like, liked her when like, she was the underdog. Yeah. So now seeing her not being the underdog is making her not likable because people aren't used to seeing her in that light. Mm -hmm. People are used to seeing her as, like, the bitch who everybody is ganging up on. And now seeing her as, like, on top of her game running shit, everybody's like, whoa, what the fuck? This is a different person. A different strikes. Right, me. right. Megan belongs on TV. I hope I see more of her. She's very entertaining. She knows, yeah, she's just awesome. I think she's great on the show. Whether you like yeah. her or not, she's entertaining. And she seems yeah. like someone who will keep herself in the entertainment world. Oh, absolutely. A hundred percent. And Julie should go back on TV as well. <laughs> well, you never know. But thank you, you for coming. What's your Twitter handle? Oh, my Twitter handle is Eric Boy. E R I C K K B O Y Y. Oh, I know you. It's nice to finally yeah. chat with you, doll. Thanks. I love you, Julie. I live in LA, so if whenever you're here or like, I want to see you. That I live street, here. Like let's go get a pizza. pizza yeah. yeah, let's go yeah. get a pizza. Tweet me. Okay, I'll DM you my number and everything. 
Okay, okay, bye, baby. Bye. All right, if you guys want to call in, 424-256-1729. We're taking uh, lunch dates with Julie Ofcharsky. <laughs> or you can just send it to my house. <laughs> call her, what's your name? Where are you from? Hi, I'm Andrea Berger. Hey, girl, hey. Hello? Oh, my gosh, so... What do you want to talk about? Who do you hate? Who do you love? Spill the tea. Who do you love? Okay. Who do you love? not like Tina. I don't. I can't. Wait, with who? Who? Valentina, and I'm glad she's gone. I don't like Tiana. I'm not happy she's there. Okay. Yeah, well, Valentina's gone, so we're, she's irrelevant. Two shades right gotta go. Two shades gotta go. Okay, what about, uh, how are you feeling about Rocky this season? I don't fuck, fuck, her. fuck her. Like, Rocky was cool when the first season because I think she was an underdog, but now I do not like her. That's the general consensus. Strong stance right there. Um, like, I don't know. Oh, my God, are you still there? Yes. Are there two people on the line oh right now? Oh, my God. I thought we lost you. Are there two people on the phone right now? Yes. This is my friend, Frank. Oh. Hey. Hi, right. Frank. <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had multiple personalities for a quick <laughs> second. I, was like, I probably do, but this is real. This is Frank. <laughs> this is real shit right here. Wait, sorry. Pause, Andrea. What's the number? 424. My number is 331. Oh, no, not, no, no, no. Don't give your number, <laughs> give baby, because people will be calling you. And you don't want Oh, that. don't call me, please. I don't have that many minutes. 422. <laughs> oh, my God. Four two four two five six one seven two nine. Yes, correct? that is the phone number. Yeah. Okay, uh, all right, guys. Uh, Frank and Miss, what's what's your name, girl? Andre, Andrea. Andrea Berger. There we go, Berger. All yeah. right. Oh my God, I love you, Julie. You're one of my favorites too. Oh, thank you. You're Pete. How'd you guys feel about when Ray J asked all the girls what they wanted the money for? You know, they all kind of gave some stance. Megan cried and said, "As a kid, I grew up poor, and I want to repay my grandma." I just don't give a fuck about the show anymore. Like, I'm over it. Rocky needs to go to football. Like, it's stupid. Chicago needs to start. Chicago needs to start. Okay, but let's be fair here. Every fucking season, all the Bad Girls Club fans like, Oh my god, BGC 12 is going to be the fucking best season ever. I'm standing for this person that they've never even no, fucking seen on TV. None of these people and I then, really care if they win. They, I don't care. No, I agree. But then once the new season of Bad Girls Club starts, week week one, the first episode, y'all are going to be like, yes, this girl's my fave, da 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 and then week three, all on fucking Twitter, all y'all are going to be like, this is the worst season of Bad Girls Club ever, the last good season was season well, I seven, I don't the only Twitter. bad girl That's I like is fucking house. Megan. We, the house. we live in Illinois, so we drove out to the house. Oh, you did? How Did you party there, or did you just like creepily no, drive by? Like, we can't, we're not allowed to go in, we just drove around like... <laughs> Is it nice? Top, like, a cop ended up following us out because, like, security came and talked to us. Really? Oh. That's weird. Usually they don't give a fuck. Because really? <laughs> really? Did you guys used to have freaky stalkers drive around? No. Well, I was in fucking Mexico. Nobody yeah, in Mexico true. knows where the Bad Girls Club <laughs> is. They're like, oh, okay. You had the weird guy on a horse. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're like, you know what? Just give the girls there a There were skill. tourists just running the beach. Like, like, a really fancy neighborhood. Oh, a really? A block away from a school. Yeah. That's a fucking disastrous mess, but okay. Interesting. Okay, so who do you guys want to win? Out of, it, out of this season, you if have I to had pick to somebody. Megan. Megan. Megan? Why? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, she's the coolest out of all of them. Like, Sarah, I just don't care about. She's <laughs> irrelevant. Um, Fuck Rocky. Rocky, yeah. We don't talk about Rocky. That gets our blood boiling. Did you like uh, her? Okay, question for you, though. Did you like her on her season? Yes, I did. She was I like your. Her. She was my favorite. See, this it's so crazy how the production like editing it to make us not like it. <clears throat> I don't think so. I think that we were saying this earlier with the last caller. I think that everybody is just used to seeing Rocky as the underdog. Mm. So when you're seeing her in a different light as not the underdog, I think that for whatever reason, people just don't think her that she's as likable. And I also feel like they picked the wrong cast. Like they just didn't put people who would. They yeah. put too many together. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, Go ahead. What were you saying? They had, like, not as much interesting people as they should have. Like, they had more of the bland type. Right. And then, you know, uh, well, I don't want to give nothing away, y'all. But for yourself, so never mind. Let me, y'all going to get me speaking about something I shouldn't be speaking about. You guys got Twitter handles? 
What? She said she doesn't no, have we Twitter. We don't do that Twitter shit. Like, honestly, I'm, I don't like technology that much. I have a Tumblr. I don't have, we don't have Tumblr, <laughs> but we still love you. You can shout okay. out your Tumblr on here, because whoever's yeah. watching can follow you. I can tumble with you. <laughs> well, I want to be on Bad Girls All-Star when I, I mean, Bad Girls Club when I'm 21, so I can get the money every week. I need the money. Girl. Get a job. Yeah, it'll pay way more <laughs> than this job. show. It's up. not enough. Get, it's go, not enough. Just get it, then get a promotion, <laughs> go to college, do anything but be on fucking Bad Girls Club. Please, they don't, they, uh, I need to be careful about what I say. Um, <laughs> but just don't, just find any other career option. Yeah. But thank you guys for calling in. <laughs> and make sure you guys call us I for the- I want to be an actress. Like, do you think I'm entertaining talking to you guys? Yeah, you're yes. very, very entertaining. Move on to Los Angeles. There, contact me. Hello, bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Um, all right, Nancy wants to invest her money. I actually really like Nancy's answer. She wants to invest her money so she can start to help herself get somewhere else. I fucking term. love Nancy. She just- Nancy has just won me over. Is she our goddess? Nancy is queen of fucking. <laughs> Nancy is the ASB queen two. of BGC SB2. <laughs> Hashtag Bagos Club All Star Battle 2. And then Tiana's sad story is she wants money for her brothers. Rocky cries about her dad passing away and feels like she has pressure to take care of her family because they're good people and they deserve it. But you did say that Rocky does be supporting her family. Was that you that was telling me that? Maybe. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah. No one. Someone was telling um, me that Rocky would really be doing that. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is as somebody who knows these girls outside of the show, I can honestly say that everybody that is on, that was, that's there right now, I think I would be happy with winning the money. Because I think that any of them could, would could, genuinely use it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it wouldn't be like Louboutin purse, and right? Bam, bam, bam. Like if Elise won, as much as I fucking loved Elise, I'd be like, right. really? You know what I'm saying? Or like my season, if like fucking Flo won, like I know that she would just like fucking shoot it all in her arm. So it's like there's certain people that you just don't want to win. But this season, I feel like it's boring as fuck because there is nobody that you're like, oh, they can't win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like everybody there, if they won, people would be like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, so Megan and Nancy, they say that they know they need to win because of this alliance thing. We've talked about this red alliance, and maybe it might backfire on Rocky. Because Nancy seems to think that she, Rocky's being carried the whole way through. I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah, I don't to know. To be honest with you, I think that Rocky, Rocky like built up her alliances really well or whatever. But I think it's a little bit of both. Because one fucking person can't carry all these people through. Right. But at the same time, a three-person alliance isn't keeping Rocky there. What's keeping Rocky there is her athletic ability. Mm -hmm. Period. Point fucking blank. <laughs> right. It's not like she's getting put up for elimination and people are saving her. It's like the bitch is beating you all. So how are you going to say that she's getting carried through? Um, so we get I to can. the battle challenge and they have to do these three games. Push over, diamond ring, wrap up. Push over. Uh, they have to push these... This machinery, it's Megan versus Shelly, Shelly wins. Can Nancy versus Tiana, Nancy wins. Rocky versus Sarah, Rocky wins. That leaves Shelly, Nancy, Rocky to go to the next challenge, which is the diamond ring. Basically, Shelly, Nancy, and Rocky have to hold on to this ring, and whoever lets go of it is out. Everyone's pulling, Shelly's str struggling, Nancy's hanging on by a thread, just getting whipped around by these two. Mm -hmm. Nancy's out. Then we get to the wrap-up. They tie their right hands up, and they have to grab these flags. Shelly admits that she hasn't been to the gym in two years. Okay, well, props for keeping it real, Shelly. Yep. <laughs> um, and then in the middle of it, Shelly says, you know what? I'm just going to let Rocky win this. Come <laughs> the fuck on. Let's discuss this. Shelly was getting her ass dragged like a fucking... I don't even know what to compare it to, like a fucking gigantic pillowcase no, full of fucking <laughs> mashed potatoes. And then Rocky is literally almost at the flag, and she's like, Oh, just go ahead, girl. You can have it. <laughs> like, <laughs> girl, get the fuck out of here. Especially because in her confessional, she's like, I've always wanted to know what it would be like to beat Rocky. Like, I think I could beat her, but at the same time. Okay, but you're not even fucking trying, so obviously, or maybe you are trying and you just completely suck. I couldn't even tell. 
It was like so I said, I bad, I couldn't bow. tell. <laughs> yeah. I think it was like she knew she was going to get her ass kicked, so she was like, I'm just not even going to try. Okay, let's go with that because mine is a little meaner. <laughs> I, I low key feel like Shelly was like mm. out of breath, tired. She did that <laughs> diamond ring thing. I mean, in between, oh, you can tell. In between challenges, how long do they usually keep to se between setup and like. If you had to go from one it challenge depends. to the next, it, it completely really... depends. Sometimes they take they're like one after the other, and sometimes it's like this one seemed like it should hours be later. pretty easy setup. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just felt like Shelly was those two years been a long two years. It's been a long time, girl. <laughs> and we say we well we used to be cigarette smokers, and we know how that affects. I'm still smoking cigarettes. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, my whole thing is is like. I I get, like, Shelly's standpoint of, like, I did not fucking work out, and I chain-smoked and fucking drank when I went on the show. <laughs> I really did not give a fuck. But at the same time, when I got eliminated, it wasn't, like, a gigantic shock. It was like, right. oh, well, holy fucking shit, I made it this far doing nothing. Um, <laughs> I'm not athletic at the fuck all. I haven't won any fucking challenges. Like, if I were Shelly, I would have taken the stance of, like, well, thanks for fucking getting me this far. Right. Because you sure as hell wouldn't have made it this far without Rocky. Because everybody else was like, why the fuck is Shelly still here? You know what I'm saying? Like, she should have been out a long-ass time ago. Well, she's still there because she's been... Oh, in the Alliance. She's been preserved. Yeah, exactly. Well, that too. Not even just by the Alliance, I would say. Because the other, Megan and them, everyone on the other team wanted Shelly to stay because it was like... Well, I wonder the fuck why. Right. <laughs> just Come keep on. that rock over there on their team. Nancy's pissed. Tears up the damn house. Just knocking shit over. Um, Rocky's pissed at Shelly. Feels that she just wants an... Oh, you owe me one. Rocky and Tiana are talking about Shelly and giving up and how it's bullshit. And then we see Megan trying to get into Shelly's head. Shelly, you know, you're a good person. <laughs> and, you know, I just think that, like, you really need, like, good friends around you. And, like, Come on, you Megan. And, like, Rocky and Shelly just... Eating it up. <laughs> Eating it up. Can I have another plate of that? You know why I think Shelly is so fucking annoying and intolerable why? on the show? Is because... She's a fake follower? N no. Because I could see if it was somebody like, like Janelle, that was just getting like mind fucked and feeling like she has to like okay. fall. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I love Janelle. I'm like world's biggest fucking Janelle fan since her season. But like, she's like a sweet little like young little baby do -do -do. innocent do to do. Shelly's been around five blocks. Shelly, you've been around ten motherfucking bo <laughs> blocks looking like fucking Beth the Bounty Hunter. Looking like she's going to be You're in season eight of <laughs> Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> you are fucking older than these girls. I'm not going to say she's old because I know y'all get fucking butthurt when I say that. Oh, fucking K. But she was on an earlier season than the majority of these girls. She's a little bit older than the majority of these girls. Or all of these girls. And she just seems more... She s gives off the impression that she's a little bit more down to earth and, like, with it. I mean, based off her season alone, how she dealt with Judy. Like, it was right. just like... Like, she was so, like, above... Above, yes. Above everybody. <laughs> I'm like, a smart like, lesbian. Oh, my, my God. God these you. girls are so fucking <laughs> dumb. And it's like, okay, if you're going to play that card, that's all good and fine. But when you come back fucking ten years later, you better still be fucking smarter than everybody. Like, what have you just been, like fucking not eating your Flintstones vitamins, like losing fucking brain cells. Or masturbating I, with a bad girl's damn dildo. For like, I, like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, girl, like, you cannot be this fucking dumb. And she looks like such a fool, like, just running around kissing the ass of all oh these my fucking 22-year-olds. The in the club when she was sucking up to Nancy and Megan. Like, these girls are, like, six years fucking younger than you. Plain. You should be running this shit. Because if she went into the house on a whole different angle, not licking Rocky's fucking clit, she could have been. Mm -hmm. Because, A, she's fucking older. She's a little bit more with it than everybody. And I feel like people have a certain respect level for her, or could have. Could have, not anymore. Right. <laughs> but they could have had a certain level of respect for her. I feel like they did in the beginning, and now it's just like Shelly's the fucking... <coughs> the fucking village idiot of fucking BGC. And that is really <laughs> like a difficult fucking task to be the village idiot of BGC. You done won that award. Like what is wrong S with So you? we get to nominations. It's 
Nancy and Rocky, they're kind of getting into it where Rocky's talking about, I love my alliance. And, you know, Nancy basically is going on saying, you don't deserve to be here. Your friends carried you here. Rocky says, I do deserve to be here. Um, and then Rocky votes double elimination. Mm -hmm. And she votes Nancy, obviously. Yeah. And then she votes Shelly. How did you feel about that? Um, well, smart move or dumb move on Rocky's Well, part? as you, as we've discussed in previous weeks, Rocky's my fucking girl. I love Rocky to death. She's one of my favorite people that I've met in Bad Girls Club. So mm -hmm. let me start with that disclaimer, in case there's any confusion here. Right, because you because I fucking love that bitch genuinely. However, I am very frustrated as a viewer watching how she's playing this game. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck? Would you put up Shelly? Why the fuck would you put up Shelly? Because she Where, didn't try. This is not, this is, first of all, Shelly is not going to fucking vote you out. Okay? <laughs> so she's an asset to you in every fucking way possible. Two, Shelly clearly can't fucking beat you. So why wouldn't you want her until the end? And three, Megan doesn't fucking like your ass and is fucking gunning for you and is going to get you voted out. Megan is smarter than you. She's going to go around to all the fucking girls in your little alliance and fucking be like, look what she did to Shelly. Look what she did to <laughs> Shelly. Exactly. And turn them all against you and fucking convince them that you're going to be a threat in the finals. Like I'm predicting it right now. Like this is exactly what's going to happen because Megan is more... You know what it is, is that Rocky's too comfortable, and Megan yeah. is not. Megan throughout the whole game has always been on the, the non, she hasn't had an advantage right. at any point during the game. So because of that, Megan has stayed on top of her shit and knows what the fuck is going on and has a plan for everything. Rocky right now is too comfortable. And you could tell that in tonight's episode when she was like, I done what I done so I could control the game and now I'm controlling the game. You never, rule number one of being in power, you never let people know that you're in control. Right. What are you doing? Because even, let's discuss the fact that Shelly in the bathroom said some slick shit about Rocky and was like, oh yeah, we don't like, I don't like the little cocky fucking comments and me and you have both agreed on that to Sarah. And Sarah's just like, Oh. Right, Sarah got called out. You be talking shit behind right. your, your when friends. When those cameras are off at night, boo, what are you saying? Because it's not some very when nice thing. When you things. wash those cheeks off your face, girl, what do you be saying? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mess. This whole thing is a shit show. But Rocky is not being smart. Period. No, yeah, I just thought that was dumb. It was like... Shelly should have had an automatic ticket to the end. This is where you want to use your end. card? This is where you want to like, use your card? Like, this is right before fucking finals. Like, last elimination. Like, what are you doing? Like, even if Megan doesn't outsmart you in a mental sense, like, Megan's the type of bitch, like, showgirl, she will drop the pearls on the ground. Right. So you will trip. Exactly. And she will get to the end. Exactly. Shelly's going to be like, well, you know what, girl, go ahead. No, for real, though. <laughs> <laughs> For real though, and even if Shelly didn't, it doesn't just give Rocky the fucking win, which was a strong possibility. Shelly physically cannot yeah. beat you; she can't. Like it's not gonna happen. So she doesn't deserve to be here. Rocky, there's a, we're not talking about fucking, the fucking fairness. This isn't fucking CCD. We're talking about a hundred thousand dollars. Uh, we're talking about a hundred thousand fucking dollars. You vote out the goddamn person that can't fucking beat you. Right. And who, who is not going to vote you out? Hello. Hello. Duh. Hello. Shelly calls Rocky a coward. You backstab me. Alliances. Are you kidding me, Rocky? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's pretty much what I would have said, too. Um, then we get the bad girl's revenge. <laughs> In my Ray J voice. Um, and Shelly is the final tiebreaker for the votes. She was so annoying about that whole thing. She's like, <sighs> mm, let me think. She literally acts like an angsty fucking eighth. Okay, grader. but do producers tell you guys to like hold it out, like to hold out? No, really. So like sometimes they just be doing that. Yes. So These she girls holds are it dramatic out. Dramatic fucking hoes. Now let's just think. Sarah's over there like looking at you. Megan's over there like, bitch. You did you just see what happened? Now mind you. Sarah literally climbed out of Rocky's vagina with Windex and was like, girl, you going to vote me? Remember I had you since day one. Yeah, for real. 
For real, though. Um, She's wearing Rocky as a fucking hat, basically. I mean... <laughs> Come on. Her fucking cheeks are so red. It's like she's been skiing down fucking Rocky's vagina. Her fucking cheeks are so red. They look like Shelly's fucking nose without makeup <sighs> is what the fucking problem is. <laughs> so Shelly saves Sarah. Cheer, can we just cheers to loyalty? <laughs> cheers. 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 You go, girl, Shelly. Timmy thinks you're all fucking idiots. Yeah, you fucking He's did judging that. You. Shelly's I'm smart. Judging you guys. She did that. That just that really is so fucking irritating. I can't even. Like, what on earth are you fucking thinking? And then, so then Shelly gets mad, runs off. I and... think Shelly. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. I think that Shelly saved Sarah. I think that she was like, I don't think she wanted to save Sarah at all. I think that she saved Sarah because her whole, like, she knew she was fucking going home. And I think her whole, like, exit speech was going to be like, at least I was loyal and at least I played this game with integrity. Because had she voted out Sarah, oh. do you get what I'm saying? Because had she voted out Sarah, it would have been like, Rocky could have been like, well, you're a fucking hypocrite because you voted out Sarah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Okay, I do get that. You know what I mean? And it's funny that you brought that up because this whole, like, loyalty thing, like, okay, you can make an agreement with someone, and if they don't keep their end of the deal, that agreement is, is null, null and void. Null and void. Null and so and fucking void. it's funny because it brings me back to the Vegas season with the twins when the twins held on. No, any bitch that comes into the house, we're going to just fight them. That's what we said at the beginning. Well, bitch, you got a girl in the house that everyone <laughs> like, like... Calm just down. get over it. You know, and I know it's that Boston loyal <laughs> right. to Boston strong, but it just brings me you back to that. You gotta know when to give up, though. Yeah, like, Sarah's literally voting dining yeah. in Rocky's vagina. Right. She's gonna vote you out. Yeah. She's going to vote you out. I fucking can't. And if you believe otherwise, girl, bye. Because Nancy only sees one big-ass word, and that's fuck shit up. <laughs> one big-ass word. Fuck shit up. Oh. I'm done. I, can't. I love her. She's I love her so queen. fucking much. Queen, slay, <laughs> yes. And then I went into okay, then I just started making fun of Sarah and Rocky's makeup. <laughs> then we get to eliminations. Um, Megan, I have to say, probably the best dress that we've seen her in. Megan looked that was cute. fucking slamming. Her body looked amazing. Nancy was cute, except the damn sh dress that she got, like, filing his basement. Nancy has one of those bodies, though, that she can kind of wear whatever, and it's fine. Okay, now say one nice thing about Shelly. Shelly's legs looked very good. Shelly does not have cellulite on her legs. Go, girl. Props to you. She's top-heavy, so um, her legs look good. So we get the elimination. Nancy and Shelly both get three votes. Um, Megan cries and says thank you. Shelly gives her exit speech. Just win it. Just do it. What the fuck was that? Like, I was waiting for them to just fucking roll out a picture, like a poster of, like, a cat hanging on to a fucking windowsill with, like, Shelly's fucking motivational speech underneath. Like, girl. My seven-year-old nephew could just come up with it. a fucking better <laughs> exit speech than that. Fucking, I can't. I'm mad Nancy came up with a better <laughs> speech than that. <laughs> she basically wants to strangle Rocky, Rocky, tells her that she will snatch your ass, and she'll see her at the reunion. <gasps> Cunty Kevin is trying to call, and he can't get in. <laughs> Cunty Kevin. We're is, sorry, Cunty Kevin. Sorry, guys. But if you guys want to call in, 424-256-1729. Um, Rocky says, why are you mad? I'm sorry I won. And, then, and that's fair. Yeah. Nancy says, I'm going to call Camilla to take uh, my mind oh, off Oh, my God. Nancy, we could have done without that as your last words. Jesus. Mm. And uh, so for finals, we have Rocky, Tiana, Sarah, and Megan. Ugh. Which, who do you think wrote all this stuff on the things? Because Sarah, Rocky called Sarah a fake follower in reference to what was written on. Was that Nancy? We probably said? Nancy. Mm. All right. Well, on that note, let's head to predictions. Oh. Oh, we have a caller. Hello. Caller, what's your name? Where are you from? Okay, I, I want some I want some fucking names and I want some pink slips up to whoever was fucking with me on that last call. <laughs> no, Corey. <laughs> Uh, we heard you, okay. your call spotting in and out, bitch. Sound like you damn not on the Verizon network. No, I am just like Nancy in the sense that I'm tired of bitches playing with me, okay? 
<laughs> Where you ain't got no loyalty. It's here. not our fault that you and your fucking Metro PCS phone can't call in, Corey. Okay, my, my Boost mobile phone has a, <laughs> enough signals that it should get through to your ghetto ass location, wherever the fuck y'all are at. And you pay for oh, it so with your rush we, card, how far right? Are we in? What have we covered? What have we covered? Where are we? Bitch, at? we about to end the show, so just tell us whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Oh, okay, let's see. What do, what do we think? This are is we, exactly are how I feel about it. Fuck, are we still have a collective hard on for Megan and her lack of awareness? And, yes, Megan is not uh, unaware. You are so fucking wrong. It's not even fu funny. Okay, you're. I know Rocky's your girl, and you know how much I fucking love Rocky. I adore Rocky. But if you're going to really sit on my fucking phone line right now and say that Rocky is not a fucking idiot for voting out Shelly tonight, then boy, bye. Corey, come on. You have to admit that, that, was, that Rocky come made a on. dumb decision. You're going you're gonna to fucking pick to fucking vote out Shelly or fucking Megan, and you vote out Shelly? Okay, well, I have a little tea for you. I was... Um, okay. They actually didn't show it but rocky and shelly actually got into like an altercation that got like a little physical rocky julie i told you about this before the show started remember rocky knocked shelly on her ass like they didn't show it but oh they, yeah you like, did went tell from, me like, this alliance members to like fucking enemies and i and rocky said that they didn't really show why shelly went home so, I mean, there was obviously more to it, Julie. Oh, okay, so she voted her out after they got physical. But still. But s fucking still. The bottom line is. So not only did you physically beat the bitch out, <laughs> now you're like, oh, I beat her up and I still want need to get rid of her because right. she's Right, like you fucking, like, it's like a fucking dog. Like you fucking hit her once. Like she's not going to fucking do it again. Just, come on, like, Sinner. the bitch is a fucking, the Kool-Aid man in a fucking human form. Like, she can't do anything. Like, okay, why so wouldn't you keep her? Dog, speak dog. Did, did we already drag Nancy enough through this? Do I need to continue? Nancy we... is a goddess, a queen. We love Nancy. We don't, we don't oh, speak my... no okay, evil. Okay, honestly, I'm, I'm not even trying to be funny, but I, okay, so as the God-loving Christian man that I am, I um, used to volunteer... <laughs> for um, the mentally retarded. Bye, and I would help. Corey. No, no, listen. And they would, <laughs> they would have, you know, their spasms. Like, you know, you give them, you know, the wrong flavor of gum, and they would just go absolutely batshit crazy. I honestly was getting so many flashbacks to that. Corey. Former career when she was, okay, come on. Former career. I'm, Corey. Am I incorrect? This is not PC right now. <laughs> listen, Nancy... I agree with you. She does the most. She's special. She's a special <laughs> snowflake. We agree with you. She does the most. However, N Nancy's just a special snowflake. That's why of, she's great for TV. And out of all the girls, like really out she of all tried. the girls. Please, you know when you first saw that lineup and you saw Nancy in that lineup, you were like, You were oh, like, what? God. Like, come on. And I was not like, I was, you know, I was not Team Five of Goes West. But now that we have reached the end. And I'm like, this bitch really put her all of her effort in there? She has consistently showed out in every fucking challenge and really tried hard. <laughs> and she really don't get the, the actual game part of the show. Like no, not at the all. She's not all understanding that. that. That's so, upsetting know, to her. She gets really, you know, she just expresses herself differently than others. And it, you know, has little seizure moments. The bottom line <sighs> is that it is insane to me that Megan is not gone. Why the fuck? Wh who is keeping her there? Like, or is she casting some fucking sort of magic spells? <laughs> is she praying to some sort of fucking no, but deity? she's hiding in that room. The fucking that bad girls in club last week. fucking god. Like, I don't understand okay, how the fuck they're you still there. Why are like Megan is such a fucking threat and needs to be gone? She's dead weight. The bitch is out of shape. She's won one challenge. They were joking. Not even she was like the laughing stock for being so horrible at competitions. I mean, now they're in the final four. There's no more masterminding somebody's elimination. Okay. Like. Okay, Corey, who would you rather go up against, Megan or Shelly? Uh, Megan. Come Megan kicked, on! Megan kicked Shelly, or Shelly kicked Megan's ass this episode. If it's anything physical where you can throw your weight around, I mean, fucking rest in peace to the rest of this fucking cast. Yeah, but you know, you know the final the is, gonna final be a lot is of like running. a fucking puzzle. <laughs> and you know the final is like a fucking puzzle. Running. Or like they throw everything out at the fucking end. So like bitches was like shaving. Shelly like just gives the fuck up. At least if you, I had to go against one of them because it's not going to be like, it's not going to be them like versus each other. It's going to be like some sort of obstacle course or race where they are all doing their own individual thing. And period point blank, Shelly fucking sucks. And she's it, quit. 
two weeks in a Yeah, row. at least Megan tries. You know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, I might be grasping at straws a little bit. I don't know why the fuck they got rid of Shelly over Megan, <laughs> even if Rocky did Thank beat you. her ass. Thank but you. Picking up on Nancy doing the most, I will agree with you. At least, even though Nancy's doing the most, at least she's doing something, unlike that ashy mouth bitch Tiana, who somehow fucking <laughs> wobbled her way into the final. Aren't you just, okay, now that you've seen Tiana's collective resume, aren't you just so fucking pissed that she, that if, like, if she wins, wouldn't you be fucking pissed? If Tiana wins? If Tiana wins? I yeah. mean, would I be pissed? I wouldn't be pissed. I'd be like, oh, all right, girl, uh, you done. Uh, that's the kind of win I want. I just want to go on a damn TV show, not not have to not do, do no anything. work. And then all of a sudden, Woo, bitch, I, I woke I up won. like this. I woke up like this. Like, a hundred thousand. Yeah, no shit. She's literally rolling out of bed on the finale to finally fucking compete for one. But and think then, about it, though. That's if, okay, I know this that this show has only been in two seasons. But if you watch any competition show, those are the motherfuckers that win. The people who literally stay on the fucking sideline, they don't stir up the pot, they just are neutral. They're fucking Switzerland. Like, they're neutral as fuck. They're not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? And it, That's and who wins. occasionally suck a producer or a lighting or a sound guy's dick, right? I mean, I don't think she's winning because she's sucking a lighting guy's dick. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the lighting guys have that much quote. That was 100K worth blowjob, Tiana. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to put in a good word And Tiana <laughs> prefers the, to jam out with her clam out, not fucking eat cock. Let's be real. <laughs> she ain't a Duracell battery. Pause with that negative. Corey, uh, <laughs> give us any last comments before we uh, get your Twitter handle. You know what? Just... Team Rocky, Team Julie, Team Timmy, fuck Alex. <laughs> That's about all I gotta say. Alex is here. He oh, said, I, I, he I said fuck you. No, I didn't mean, I meant Alex, one of the, the new Alex girls said being fuck tapped Corey. for season, season 15. Corey, of, get your back pe backpedaling ass out of here. What's your Twitter handle? You guys know my Twitter handle. I know it, but it's... a co-host who has yet to get paid for fucking bringing in the ratings on this goddamn show. <laughs> all right, on that note, up. bye, bitch. <laughs> all right, guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit us up all week long uh, at Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook, at AfterBuzzTV. Uh, also, make sure you guys tweet me at DJ Jesse J. Oh, and at Julia Charsky. Sorry, I don't care about this fucking te horrible television show anymore. But make sure you guys pay attention because we have some very, very special things for y'all for the uh, finale and for the reunion. So make sure you guys tune in. Also Very make sure you guys exciting. tune in next week for the uh, brand new show, Chasing Maria Menounos, right after Bad Girls Club All-Star. And then tune in right after that for our after show. Peace. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later, oh, bitches. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.